Er ist da. Hallo. What a wonderful afternoon. We've got excellent speakers, awesome content, and I see you guys are enjoying that. I'm Lawrence Milan, and this is my wife. Lausanne. We are from the Bush School Project. And uh, this, morning, uh, this afternoon, I want to share a little bit about the Bush School Project. Um, we have started the company four years ago with the Bush School Project. We are now two years in the Bush School Project. And what is the vision of the Bush School? The vision of the Bush School is to bring biblical view education to remote villages. So we need to understand that we focus on remote villages. But what's the difference between a normal school, ICE school, and the remote village? Next slide, please. A bush school is a school in a remote village where there's no school or people haven't been trained, but it's also in a community where there's no cash, where there's no money, where people live off the land. That is defining a bush school, or it could be an orphanage. So you need to understand the difference between a bush school and a normal ICE school. Next slide, please. So what we are doing as a bush school is we provide the material. Uh, we talk about seed and harvest. And the last four years, we were developing the product. And now we harvest it. It is ready. And uh, so we identify a supervisor in the village. And then we train them and we provide the material. And that's how we start in a remote village, a bush school. And then from our side, we are looking for sponsors, financial sponsors, to provide for you that start a bush school, everything. Next slide, please. So um, if we look at the schools, we are very excited. And Lazan will tell you the story of the harvest. When the harvest is coming in, you experience excitement. And Lazan, please tell us about our schools. Yes, after we've done with all the lamination of the cards and got everything ready, um, we pack the boxes and then we take it to the warehouse and then we lay our hands on it and we pray for it, as you've seen in the previous um, video. And we're then so excited because we know a school is going out. So this week we have sent two schools uh, boxes to Solomon Islands. And um, we know that our brother in Papua New Guinea uh, was receiving his, or we hope that they have released it now by this time. And then we, so we will have two schools in Papua New Guinea and we have one school in Papua and I believe that there's going to be even more there. So uh, we are very excited um, to know that we now have five schools um, that's going to start soon. One is already running. And so for that, we we so thankful to our volunteers because if it's not for our volunteers, we you will not receive anything because there's so much work going into that. And so we ha have uh, beautiful volunteers. With, they have become the advocates for bush schools. They just sold out to this whole project and we just thank God for each one of them. And so they, uh, the, the age difference, as you can see, the oldest is 83 years, but let me tell you, they are so amazing. Um, they pick up all little mistakes, and I said, I don't want to hear that anymore, but that's good. We need to send out a, a, a good product. So, and my youngest is 18 years old, but we will need a lot of volunteers if we get more busy. Of course. Can I just say with the volunteers, what is so awesome is that they experience belonging and purpose. They are praying for the schools. They are praying for each box. As they laminate, as they work, they experience conversation with one another, sharing with one another in faith, praying together, but also they see you and they see the children and they pray for them that God will do amazing things. One of these um, 
volunteers, they were missionaries in India. So they understand that. Some of our other volunteers were alone at home, and now they come and help us, and they experience good conversation and belonging. So we are very exciting of creating an atmosphere where people can work together. Yes, and last week we received a big container full of material and we just want to thank Mr. Dwayne Howard and Mr. John Gilvey for that. Um, and then as well, we asked the church, come on guys, we're going to need a few people. And on a Saturday morning, can you believe it, at 7 o'clock, that's very, very early. And it was so hot that day, but they came and we have unpacked that container um, very, very fast. And so um, we had also a fundraiser, uh, a big night where we had camp stews. And you know what? It was just so beautiful when people come and they say, uh, here is my money. And I said, oh, Next that's night. more than you've sold. But yeah, they said, no, it's going for a good cause. So people just love the idea of bush calls. And so um, as I said, 11 o'clock in the morning, we pray. We pray over the phone for you guys, as you know, some of you. And then also, if you have any prayer requests, please send it to the WhatsApp number. And so we can call you or we can send a prayer to you. Can I just say on the WhatsApp message, I want you to take a photo of that WhatsApp message. If you are a principal, just send me quickly a message and say, praise the Lord. Uh, just go back, uh, Jenny, please, to that one. Just say praise the Lord, because that is the way we communicate with you. Uh, it's just quick and easy. I know last year somebody were at the hospital, and they have sent me some uh, a prayer request, and we could immediately pray for a person. So please, this is important for us. If you don't have a WhatsApp message, that is fine. We will contact you. We will phone you. We will email you. But in all of this, it helps us to communicate with you. But spiritually, we are part of a family building together the kingdom of God. And it's awesome that we can pray for one another, stand together. So this is the uh, effective way of communicating to you. So before the end of the confer conference, I want you to send me a message and say, praise the Lord. And then I know that you are responding and you've got our message. So we are praying for you as the schools daily. And this is part of this ministry. It's not, as you have heard, about information. It's about relationship. We want to stand with you in good times, in bad times, in tough times. But we say, Lord, we want to build your kingdom. So yes. if you can do that, it would be awesome. <laughs> I am so excited this morning. We had a divine connection with a lovely man from Papua New Guinea. He's a missionary from Papua New Guinea. And he brought uh, his lovely wife and two other uh, people that's also working in Papua New Guinea. And they are thinking of starting um, an ACE school. And they, they were sold out to the Bush School Project as well. And so... You know what? It's just so wonderful. God is really blessing us with beautiful people that are coming our way. And um, yes, it's, I, I, I'm just in awe of what God is doing. And so we're really looking forward and we're praying, Lord, uh, for those villages where you want to start the, the schools. We already pray that God will prepare the ground for the seed that's going to come in. We see villages changed for God. We see people walking in faith. And you know what? And, and that his peace will rest in every village where bush girls will go into. I saw that we just have five minutes. So just okay. can enough I, time to pray maybe. Can, can I go to the next slide, please? What's important for us is that you will connect with us. Last year we said, if you see a need, we want to meet the need. We want to train supervisors. So you can contact us through email. You can go to the website and see what it's all about. If you have questions, then you can ask it. If you want to start a school in a remote village, just send us your information and we will send you an application form. But if you want to have fun, I love to take people on this journey. Go to our Facebook page. I want everyone, just go to the Facebook page today 
and just give us a thumbs up or say, we had an awesome conference. Or you can just say, praise the Lord. Because all our stories daily we capture on the Facebook page of the Bush School Project. Yeah, it's a bit too much when it comes to that sometimes. <laughs> you can pray. So, yeah. Let us just pray. Father God, we just want to thank you because you're such a wonderful father to all of us. We thank you for our brothers and sisters all over the Pacific Islands, Lord, that are part of this conference. Lord, we thank you for every bush school that um, is already there. And Lord, we pray for those villages as the material are going out there and the supervisors. We pray, Lord, for divine um, connections, Lord. We just pray that you will come and change the little hearts of your children and that that will spread out to the whole village and that your name will be glorified. We pray for every bush school, Lord, every person that is training at this stage, their people to become supervisors in a remote village. We pray, Lord, for... Um, godly wisdom for them we pray lord that you will help them in all of this that you will help them to be so prepared that when they walk into that place that your presence will go before them in them and behind them lord we pray that in jesus name amen